Creating selections got a little more interesting with this new 2015.5 update. There's a new way to work with creating selections. So let's take a look at the Select and Mask task space. First of all, what I'd like to do is take this toddler and put him with a new background. Actually, this background right here. So what I want to do is to basically cut him out and then take that new background and put it behind him. So let's start. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this type layer that I have. And I don't even have to select him first. I can just go directly into the new workspace. I'm going to choose the Marquee Selection tool and automatically at the top of my screen you'll see a Select and Mask button here. I'm going to choose it and it brings you into a new dialog and if you look over to the right you'll see view mode you'll see transparency edge detection and a bunch of other options that we may take a look at but what I want you to notice first is that now you see a checkerboard you're basically looking at uh, transparency and the very first slider here is the transparency setting you'll see more of how this works as we get into it but I can lessen the transparency and I can increase the transparency so in the view menu you have the new option of onion skin and that's what we're working with the onion skin allows you to see the background or not see the background as you're working so let's start first with the quick selection tool that's in this workspace you don't have to go out and uh, select uh, make a selection first you can do it while you're in this workspace so what I'm going to do is start to select the body of this little toddler and as I drag inside of his area I'm selecting him and his trunks and making sure to select his arms. I know that I'm going to get some of the background so I'm going to take care of that right after I get all of him and notice that I didn't try to go to the edges of his body I just went directly inside even when it came to his hair I have not uh, completely selected all of his hair I'm going to do that in a second using the refine edge brush but right now I want to get rid of the areas that I don't want selected and then I'm going to hold down the option key and it would be the alt key on a PC and drag into the areas that I don't want and you can see them deselect as I drag across them I'm still holding down the option key alt key on a PC and now that I have oops not all of them quite yet let's get into this area okay all right I think I have them and now that I have all the areas that I don't want removed I want to try to select uh, more of him but before I do that let me show you something he's selected and I'm going to go over to the transparency slider and as I increase the transparency you'll see more of the background disappear and that gives me a really good idea of the areas that I missed so I'm going to try to get rid of those and I don't want to be too perfect here I just want to get rid of some of the main areas to show you how this brush how this task space works alright so if I slide the transparency down you'll see more of the background and you'll see actually that I actually want to get more of his hair the curls on the fringes of his hair so right now let's put the transparency at about uh, it's close to it's about 50 percent right now alright for so for the next thing that I want to do I want to work with the refine edge tool around his hair because I want to get the wisps of hair the curls that are um, showing up so let's go over to the tools on the left hand side and I want to select the refine edge and make that a tad bit larger and I'm going to just brush over the outside edges of his hair
and there's a little bit of hair right along his face right there so let's get that and you can really see how this new workspace shows things you see that is a really good selection or a decent selection I won't say good just yet it's a really decent selection and if I actually come over to the view menu and select black and white you will really get to see how nice the selection uh, can be let's zoom in and you really get to see the edges the curls around the outs outsides even around his eye right there alright so let's zoom out now even when you have uh, a selection as nice as you hope it to be there's still going to be some cleanup so I'm going to actually stay on black and white for a second and I'm going to go back over to the tools and I'm going to get the brush tool and let's drag over the areas that I don't want so I'm going to hold down the option key again and drag right here on the bottom left along his trunks and that's going to take that area out alright so let's go back to the view menu on the right hand side choose onion skin and I can see what I'm going to select and what uh, is uh, has been removed now that's pretty good now there's one thing that I like to do when I create a selection I actually like to save a selection so down on the right hand side where it says output to there are options that you have now remember I want to add a new background to him so I can output to selection layer mask new layer uh, new layer with layer mask I'm gonna first start with selection because I want to save this selection just in case I need to come back to it so let's choose OK and you'll see the selection around him you see the marching ants so let's go to the select menu choose save selection and I'm just going to name this outline and then choose OK now because that selection is there if I click back on the select and mask button it takes me right back to where I was so now I can decide how I want to output next I'm going to output to new layer so what that should do is remove this background and give me a new layer with just him so let's choose new layer and choose OK and here is my new layer the background has been turned off I have a new layer so let's go get my background uh, my new image that I want to be a background so with the moved tool selected I'm just going to drag this into the layer of the the image of the toddler so I'm gonna hold down the mouse key and I'm going to drag my mouse up to the title of the toddler the image that the toddler is in keep my mouse held down drag down into the body of this image and I'm gonna hold down the shift key holding down the shift key puts it in dead center you don't have to hold down the shift key but you do have to place the mouse inside of the canvas so letting go of my mouse button first it brings this image into the file and I'm just going to drag it in the layers panel below the image of the toddler and there you have it and let's zoom in right to the left side of the image and you'll see a nice line of curls I do still see where I could have got the um, more of the background out of the top here but down near the bottom and along the right side of his face you can see those curls that were selected I think that's an awesome awesome new tool so let's zoom out and if you want to make this look a little better and let me click back in because I want you to see this I'm going to click in toward his left arm and on his left arm you can see a slight halo right here and right along here it's very visible what I'm going to do is defringe that so making sure that the proper layer is selected the layer of just the toddler I'm then going to go to the layer menu select matting 
and select defringe and watch that halo along the side of his arm and his trunks. And I'm going to choose um, just accept the default of one pixel and again watch that halo and now that halo is gone. So you have an awesome new way of working with selections in 2015. Now just in case, if you did need to revise this selection, you can always go back because we saved the selection. So I'm going to momentarily turn off the visibility of the two layers and turn back on the visibility of the original background layer. I've saved the selection so I can go back to select and load that selection, select it, outline, load the outline selection, there it is. Choose any selection tool and making sure the visibility of that, whoops, I'm sorry, that's the, make sure that background layer is selected. I had the wrong layer selected. So the original background layer is selected. My outline selection is loaded. I'm going to go back to the Select and Mask button. And this time, instead of outputting to New Layer, I'm going to output to New Layer with Layer Mask. And choose OK. And that gives me a new layer with a layer mask so that if I ever need to come back in and edit, I easily can. And let me turn off this so that you can see this layer mask. So this layer mask is here, it's available, and all I have to do, let's turn back on the background layer and drop it below right there. So now I have a layer with a layer mask that I can go in and edit again if I need to. So here you have some awesome ways of working uh, with a new feature in creating selections in Adobe Photoshop 2015.5. Hope this was helpful. This is Sheeta Hunter. Till next time.